Hi folks, it's John Snow and welcome to World of Tanks. Uh, actually, I have no idea what to do. <laughs> I was uh, thinking of uh, driving around in some tanks and uh, talking some jitterish, but uh, I've done that so many times, so we need something new here. And uh, historical battle doesn't work, they have removed that. Uh, I only have Matt online, we might do some double trouble, I'm gonna check that with him. Team battle, we do have lots of uh, clan members online, but then I can't speak English because since we then we need to be in team speak in uh, a chat and talk Swedish. And uh, tank company, no, we're not that many enough for it. Stronghold battles, we usually do that on the evenings. Team training, <laughs> why? <laughs> uh, so I actually thought of showing you all how stronghold uh, works. Right, so this is our base, the clan AP3, Absolute Panzer 3. Th this is our, so to say, base or town. Uh, you start off with a command center, and uh, open zones allow to allow the building of structures where reserves are requested. Zones can be attacked by enemy clans. This will uh, come later on, zones can be attacked uh, in the next patch or so. Uh, then you have one of these construction sites, only the, the clan commander or the deputy commander, which is, I'm not on, on any of those, can select one of these and then starting to build something. And we started with these over here, let's see, we have financial unit, which gives you, this unit is rank 4, rank 4 is the maximum of uh, building so far, and later on you will get more unit, uh, more level ups and so on. But for now, level four gives you plus eight percent to credits for all clan members of the any battle. Uh, I th I think they said something that up to twenty five percent plus, and then think, ma imagine when you're driving a premium tank on a premium account with this activated, you will get a butt ton of money. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, then you do you press the garrison button, attach to structure, and every battle that you play will uh, gain, or how to say every stronghold battles that you played. Down here to the bottom left, you have skirmishes. Uh, you either join a skirmish over here, or there, or you create a detachment. Uh, medium champion or absolute division. The plunder here, you see package, is for a medium battle. You can maximum gain 100 package. If you're playing champion division, which is vehicles from rank 1 to 8, you can be from 8 to 10 people, you'll get 150, 150 packages. And absolute is rank 1 to 10, you can be 12 to 15, then you will get 300 packages. That's the maximum amount of package you can get, which means that you te your team must have been so well as done good on a battle and won so easy or so hard that the enemies didn't earn any package at all. Gain 100 is very hard, but approximately 90 is what you get from a good victory. A very hard and uh, close victory might be, I don't know, 70, 80 uh, for the victory, for those that won. I'm gonna back. This is how it looks for stronger battles. You see, battle for stronghold coming soon. Battle with a chosen enemy clan on the territory of the stronghold. So, let's say we are a sub-clan of AP. Let's say we want to attack AP2, a, uh, one of our friends. The, let's say we're just going to attack them. Then we attack them. We battle with them, and then if we win, I don't, th I don't think it's just one battle, but I think it's lots of battles. Then we will gain s all, uh, all of a sudden we will gain like their stronghold also. So uh, then we, I think we have two or maybe like all of their resources as one gains and comes into our stronghold. No idea how it will work, but later on, Wargaming will explain. Uh, so when you have gained those packages that you get, up here you can see we have 1902 in storage, uh, from skirmish battles, stronghold battles, you, those packages will be added to the storage of the gar or the, for the building that you are garrison. Uh, right now I think I'm garrison in tankodrome, let's see, yep there I am, 
I am the one that has earned the most package for this like building which means that all the package that I have earned in battles f while I was attached to this building you can see 568 has been used to build this one and uh, when uh, the Tango Drum is at maximum level structure durability uh, it will get more and more storage after that so all the package just puts into a storage and this one gains 8% 8% more combat experience for clan members and uh, when you gain enough storage for uh, the clan then the clan commander or deputy commander can activate battle payments and uh, battle payments that one of these now uh, we have military maneuvers and so on but battle payments 8% more credits to clan members after any battles it lasts 2 hours and after it has been activated, you need to wait two more hours for it to, uh, yeah, cool down, so to say, or reload. Uh, w required units is the financial unit. We have enough costs or enough packages to use this four times in a row, and uh, this one is the financial unit. Let's see, maneuver, re man military maneuvers. Mil military maneuvers gives us 16% more free experience for all clan members of the any battle. Two hours, two hours. Military school. Let's see where do we have the military school? Do we have anyone? Yep, there is military school. We see that they only have two guys attached, so uh, therefore we don't have that much income for this building. Then we have tactical training, needs tank drone, that's the one that I am attached to. Then we have uh, additional briefing, 16% crew experience, training unit is needed, that's the one building over there. High capacity transport, 4% plunder earned in skirmish. Plunder is the packages, so f you earn 4% more packages, or yeah, plunder so to say and you need a transport unit, transportation unit and I think that's, yep, yeah, that's the one up there requisition 2% plunder after a successful attack on enemy stronghold you can see in the triangle doesn't work yet and last but not least we have evacuation 8% to industrial resource kept after unsuccessful defense so if we lose then we will, g g like, we will not lose everything we will maybe we will lose everything to the enemies uh, but we will also keep some if you know what I'm saying let's say we have 100 packages the enemy wins 100 pa packages for defeating us but we will get 8 packages that we can use, like spare for ourselves so let's say 108 I have no idea how it works uh, but uh, Wargaming will explain that later on in the updates so uh, when you gain enough packages so on, the commander or deputy command just activates some one of these. You can see we have four enables of those and none of all the others. And uh, then we will get a little message message over here that says bell payments activated. You have one hour and fifty nine minutes and so on left. And then you just play around and you can see on your scoreboard that you have bell payments, extra income and so on after anything. Here you can see the statistics for our um, clan we have average of 46% win, we have done 648 skirmish uh, amount of plunder is, amount is around 50 so half it seems we will have less victories uh, th we have less more defeats than victories we and we have nearly the, um, half of the plunder which means that we are doing quite we're good and, and, and even we're doing quite good, even though ah, screw it. We're doing good. <laughs> we should have had had higher victory percent. These are all the members for our clan. Uh, so yeah, that's skirmish. Uh, intelligence data coming soon. You can uh, examine strongest of enemy clans. You can attack them. You can defense and so on. So it's going to be very very interesting when this uh, is uh, re released but uh, for now this is it you can't be attacked or you can't be attacking enemies 
which is actually quite good since you, then you don't have to worry about losing all your work and effort and so on. Uh, right, that was it, Stronghold. Uh, as I said, I was thinking of driving a tank, but let's see if Matt wants to do some double trouble. So, uh, see you soon if we do some double trouble. Uh, if not, then I'm joining a random game with a random tank. Take care now. See you soon. Well, Matt was cheating on me with some slimy bastard. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just kidding. Anyway. No, Matt, wa Matt was doing some uh, medium missions. This so, first I was like, right yeah, maybe I should do them too, but then I saw the effort you had to do and I was like, no, I don't have the time. <laughs> 20,000 HP of damage, it was 13,000 XP earned, 25 kills for one mission, or so when the other one, I don't know. And then you would earn a 50% crew premium type 62. And if you did a light version, li light tank version, you would earn uh, a KV 22. And you might see my FPS there. Yeah, I noticed that World of Tanks doesn't. It's not the best game to play if you want high FPS. So yeah. Gonna fix fix that. I wonder if it is better now. We have a Chinu over there, which hit me and damaged me again. Still good accuracy of it. Don't know if that's the one with the three bursts gun, but I don't think so. Super strong aim. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm gonna ask for help and then re relocate down this road here. Do it like an ambush, see if it works. We did it in a stronghold yesterday and it worked awesome. See if it work this time. Now I think of it, this one reminds me of the Panzer 3M. If it only would have had no muscle break, if it didn't have any muscle break on the gun there, it would definitely be a Panzer 3M from uh, War Thunder. Chinu is still there. Thinks I might be around the corner. I don't know where the KV is. I have done no efficient efficiency at all. Yep, the KV is moved, then we can rush in. I've done nothing at all. I've hit the Chinu once, but I've taken two hits. So, yeah, I've got minus in. So, I'd say efficiency. So, you'd be surprised at Chinu if they don't kill him. They're gonna take three hits. Let's see which way is he facing. Yeah, perfect. Awesome! Perfectly superior superiority. Got team killed by a moron who can't aim. Well done. Fix your aim next time, please. Well, <laughs> that hit gives me more credits. <laughs> Then I lose from it, so yeah, I'm not gonna bother complaining about it. Uh, Matt says I play Pantheon 10 with a matchmaker plus one. Do not let this new series.
did destroy his engine though. Actually, I think that, you know, the assist damage that you get, I was shooting at his tracks because I wanted to get some assist damage. If you destroy someone's engine, wouldn't that also give you, give you assist damage? I think so. <laughs> See what Matt says. Ouch. Yeah, I know. Matt, let, just, let's just see here. Matt has 25,766 battles. Let's check out his top 10 machines. Right. <laughs> he has the Bad Chat, the Foch 155, the E100, the Premium VK that you get from. Uh, uh, is it uh, campaign or clan wars matches and so on? E50, Jagdpanzer, Waffenträger, FV, the heavy tank, T57 heavy, E5, E3, T92, IS7, IS4, Object 261, as tier 10. Then he has a load of tier 9s and every tier 8 nearly. <laughs> and as you can see, Matt is ex he's extremely well player. He's very good. He has either Master badge ace tanker or first class, well, second class on the 2112A, second class on the T28. Uh, don't know why, maybe it's not played so much with some tanks that doesn't have gotten anyone. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, second class Matilda, Black Prince, Chino Kai, Premium. Oh, rank three, sexton. Uh huh. So I'm wanting to team up with a sexton then, if I'm going to play with Matt. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Matt is a very good player, and he has a ton more tanks than I do. And uh, yeah, I don't have that much to choose between from. Uh, yeah, the match didn't give me much out of it. But I'm going to show you something that is really OP for its tier. The Stug 3 of B. It only carries 28 rounds, but there are 28 deadly rounds. <laughs> I'm going to do like that. Uh, this gun has a standard shell damage of 263 to 438. Standard shell penetration is between 48 to 80. Remember, this is a rank 4. There's not much that it face that has 80. Only the 82, perhaps. Uh, rate of fire is decent. It's a, still a house. It's the uh, 105 to 42. It's a very big gun. It's a derp cannon. I actually, got a reload time 9.9.4. Let's say 9.5 seconds. View range with binoculars, quite good. Single range, yeah, could have been better. But yeah, still, rank 4. Let's bring out the Doom. I was going to say Doom Turtle, but I did not. Damn it, I did it. Uh, Doom. Stu. Ah, screw it. Yeah. O the little OP machine. I don't think I have Ace Tanker in it, since it's so easy to do well with it. But I think I have First Class. Uh, since it's a more or less howitzer uh, gun, the 105, uh, the shell velocity, the velocity of the shell, or how, how to say, it, the speed that the shell travels, uh, is not very high, but uh, the punch it gives when it hits the target, that one, that's something we like. <laughs> As I see now, the with uh, the one thing I think, I w the one thing I think I would have problem penetrating is the KV1, and that's only from the front. If I get from the side or rear, no problems. Uh, the game is extremely slow at loading. I have no idea why. I mean, top of the state, graphics card. The graphics card I have now is better than the one I had before, but it takes longer now <sighs> for the game to uh, load. I don't know if it's that re uh, AMD's uh, Radeon, Radeon, Radeon is better for World of Tanks than uh, NVIDIA's GTX GeForce cards. Uh, since I've noticed, since uh, they are often 
doing some like these versus things like this card versus this card versus this card in lots of different games and uh, some games this card that I have now is much much better than other cards but then other games other cards are much much better than this one depends on how it performs and what it uses to uh, render the graphics and so on uh, but if World of Tanks sometimes in the future will have multi-thread uh, multi uh, uh, support or something like that since so now it only uses one uh, thread or one core so I'd say I think I'm spotted perhaps Ooh, that feels good that feels so good <laughs> I think you understand now why I love this little tank. Okay, one over there. Uh, bad shot, very bad shot. Can't take that. Ooh, the T28 though. Hello, beauty! <laughs> oh, I love it! 313 HP. Oh, it's only 7 health left. Yeah, K1. Very thick hide, so to say. Doing HE for him if he only stays put. We have Stuart. We have M81. Let's try to kill Nah, come on, artillery for Q. Yep, Stuart is dead. God damn it! Six seconds left to finish him. Come on! God damn it, I miss again! Alright, now we're gonna cool down. We have a full health KV coming up. Ah shit, T1 crit my tracks. K who? Oh, god damn it, now I'm really smoked. Finally, no more tracks. Ten seconds. Shit, I'm dead. Everyone misses. Everyone, damn it. <laughs> I was gonna say everyone misses, but the KV got me. Yeah, the KV is quite strong, very strong. But it's stand. It was standing in an uh, angle over there also. Let's see, we have a Hetzer in the base. Let's see what they are doing. Panzer 34 is bot or AFK. Can report him for idle. In action, Hetzer is repositioning. Bubble in 40 here in the headset. Why is the scoreboard looking at that? That's what I want. That's a, he has the 105. That's awesome. We get a nice side shot on that KV. Don't rush it. I said don't rush it. Shit. Well, the KV can't finish it in one shot. Misses. Hit him with HE. 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 Lower plate. Come on. Well, I can't, I'm not gonna blame him. It's a low tier game. Maybe it's he's a new player to the game. Doesn't know where to shot. shoot at the tank since he was aiming at the turret and then at the side of the tank when he, at an angle. Not gonna complain. At him. He did a w he, he did a good job. He tried at least. That's what he didn't run away in high. Uh, but we won. Hooray for that! Yeah, I'm gonna play with this tank some more after this recording is done. Uh, second class. I have first class on the tank. Yeah, it's really really fun. It can do extremely well, and uh, many people is doing really well in it. How did we do in the team XP number three? If I would have hit that A1 on the first shell, I might have done some better since he was spawning me and so on, and I would have gained more kills and or XP or good damage. But yeah, I'll, I'll stuff like this. No, there. Stuff like this. 
313 HP in damage on a tank that only has 320 opportunities. Yeah, S that makes me my tummy tingling. <laughs> Let's see, hit points 320. Yep. Yeah. So we had 7 HP left. If I only would have a little bit higher damage roll. I mean, I could have done 100 HP more and even more to that. So yeah, it was a standard damage roll. So to say. Yeah, this machine is ferocious. Give it a go. Uh, try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think of it and uh, how you perform in it. Send me some replays of it and uh, let me have a look. And perhaps they will be so shown in this channel. Nah, I'm not gonna use that to bait people. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna use it. Uh, yeah, as I said, that was it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to support my work today. Today, share it with your friends and neighbors. And I see you guys and girls in the next video of whatever I make. But till that time, take care of chat now, and bye bye then.